You may have noticed if you've seen the last few videos that I've been a little more greedy than I normally am. I've taken too many projects, I've kind of stressed myself out, I'm getting a lot of products sent to me, and I've done a few sponsored posts. There's a reason for that. I've been doing this because I wanted to put together a system to give to my nephews and also my niece. So that's the laptop. One of the laptops is going to go to her, but this is all secret. They don't watch this channel. And the reason they don't watch this channel is because they don't have a computer. I don't know if their mom will let them watch it anyway because I'm wily. I sent them a, a laptop several years ago and it's completely busted. It's like, it's old, it's not working anymore, the hard drive died, and they were using that to play a bunch of old games. But now they're getting a little older and they're very creative. So I was like, you know, I gotta be the tech uncle because my sister's not a tech person. There's literally no technology in the house. So I gotta, I gotta get these kids some games. I decided to put together a computer specifically for that. Now, I did so thinking about creative stuff and gaming at the same time. So if you're someone who is into creative stuff and gaming and want to get something that's a really good deal, this could be a good video for you. So let's go through all the parts that I put together for them and we'll talk about where I got them and I'll show you some places to get them that are alternatives. I also grabbed a copy of Windows 11 over at Hookies. Hookies is our longtime sponsor and that's where I grab my Windows keys and there's a good reason for it. You can get Windows 11 Pro, you can get Windows 10 Pro, you can also get Windows 10 Home, and then we have three flavors of Office, 2021, 2019, and 2016. But if you use coupon code TS25, we're going to bump that up to 25% off. Just go ahead and add what you need to your cart. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here. Go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key. Hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. These are OEM keys, meaning you're going to provide your own technical support. Above and beyond that, they're generally locked to your hardware, but you'd have to buy many of these keys to equal the price of just one key from Microsoft. Don't waste your money on a ridiculously priced key from Microsoft when you can get them right here. Say thanks to Who Keys and grab a copy of Windows at a price that makes sense. Now let's finish building that PC. Also, I noticed on their computer they had some game creation engines. There was like Unity installed on their laptop that was dying, and I was like, you're all playing with Unity? You're like... 13 years old come on are you already already messing around with this stuff so i gave them a copy of a sprite which is a pixel art program and 30 minutes i showed them like here's how you do the animation here's how you do the next frame and 30 minutes later they put together this little animation i'm going to keep them off the camera but so i need to get them something so that they can exercise that creativity and play some games as well Let's start off with the CPU. Now, I ordered from AliExpress. Yes, I wasn't just taking the sponsorship money when I did AliExpress. I do order a lot from AliExpress. So I got this CPU right here, and it's great. It came in a little package. Uh, it looks brand new. I don't know if it is. I mean, you can get one on Amazon if you want to. I mean, they're a really good price. And this is a very fast 8-core, 16-thread CPU. So this is what was going to be good for the video editing, uh, or also like the content creation if they get into game dev or something like that. And then I wanted a CPU cooler that's really quiet, Keeps it nice and cool, but I'm not going to be doing any crazy overclocking. I got the Thermalright Assassin King 120 uh, SE, and I got the RGB version because the case is kind of dark uh, and everything else is dark inside, and I wanted a little bit of color in there. And, you know, I'll, you can obviously turn it on and off. Right now, the RGB version is the same price as the regular version because it's on sale, so I got that. I also threw one of these in there just because I have one laying around. This is a premium fan, but this system is nice and quiet. This is very quiet, and this is very quiet. And the deep cool case that I got is also very quiet with the fan that came with it, so it's I can barely hear the system. Next up for the RAM, I got some of this. I think it's pronounced Oloi. Olo, Oi, Olo. Now, this was on sale on Newegg for Black Friday for $49. So I got some good deals on Black Friday. That's usually what I do is I was waiting to get all these parts for the kids for Black Friday. But I got this for 49 bucks, 32 gigabytes, again, because they're into video stuff. And then for the peripherals, of course, I'm gonna send them some of this stuff, right? Uh, we still have the 50% off sale going on right now, and that'll be going on until January 1st. I decided to continue to keep everything running because I know a lot of people knew that the sale was going on and it's probably run its course. But if you missed it or you, I don't know, you just wanted to get something else before the holidays, Christmas, whatever. Now's the time to go ahead and grab it. So anyway, I'm going to send them this mouse pad because, you know, now they're in the WASD world. And I'm going to send them this keyboard. And for the mouse, I'll probably send them one of each. Let them pick. And we'll, we'll, why not? I'll send them some controllers too. Anyway, for the case, 
Let's do that first. We're going to talk about this case first because I'm so impressed with this. But this is the Matrix 40 Mini ITX Micro ATX case. I can't believe how much you could do with this case. Yeah, it was like 20 bucks off for Black Friday. Sometimes the deals are fake, sometimes they're real. Anyway, this one being 40 bucks was awesome. And as you can see here, we got a mesh on the mesh front. I put the Noctua fan right on the inside there. And then there's plenty of room. Behind the back panel, there's a lot of room for, I wasn't, you know, having to bend cables or do anything weird. It just it was very easy to deal with. We have a shroud on the bottom. At this price range, having a shroud and a tempered glass side panel is really nice. The only thing I'm kind of missing is there's no USB-C on the top, but for this price range and all the other features you get, I'm okay with what you can do with this. And there's plenty of room for radiators, but I'm not putting one in there. Here it is on Newegg. Right now it is $13 off with a promo code but I got it for a little bit cheaper. So, you know, when you know that it can go on sale for that much, just, just watch. This is probably one of the best cases in this price range, in my opinion. And Deepcool has been making some premium tier stuff at a nice low cost. I also got one of these for, I think it was like 60 something, 69, which is a really good deal for this. It's it's pretty much fully modular. They say semi-modular, but the only cables coming out of the back are the CPU power plug, the CPU eight pin for the top, and a PCI Express connector. So those are guaranteed that you're gonna be using those. And then everything else is modular. So for me, that's basically the same as fully modular because I'm not gonna be removing any of those three that are already attached. And this thing is also silent. It's so quiet. This is going to be a nice quiet system. Next up, let's talk about the storage. I'm going to save the graphics card for last because it's uh, last gen, but I don't think that matters too awful much. So I, I did a two terabyte. I had a Lexar two terabyte that was on the shelf. So I put that in there. The Lexar two terabyte drives, I can't find any that are that crazy of a good deal right now. So I would probably go with this one. It's PCI Express 4 Gen 4 by 4, uh, 3,500 megabytes a second. Or you just go with the 980. I mean, that one's if just whatever you can find a deal on. If you see a 980, uh, the other one I really like is a Sabrent Rocket. Those are all good, but the 980s are so tried and true, and the prices came down enough that I can recommend them again. Probably because the 990s came out. And then I also had a four terabyte NAS drive. The one that I had in particular is this one. So I just popped that one in there because I had a couple extras uh, that were on the shelf that were used slightly, but not that much. So I threw one of those in there just so they could have some extra room for media, games, and whatever else. But if I were you and I wanted to put a drive in there, I'd probably go bigger than four terabyte, but I would also get a NAS drive. It's worth spending the extra money to get a, a drive that's rated for a NAS. If you're okay with a little extra noise, the Exos drives are a better price. They're enterprise grade, but they make a little more noise than the Iron Wolves. But yeah, I really like NAS grade drives because you can put a NAS grade drive in a regular system and it'll last a long time. Now, you've been seeing this monitor. I don't know if I'm going to send it to him or not. And there's a reason for this because this monitor's too good. Did I just say this monitor's too good for the kids? <laughs> okay, hear me out here. You can spoil them, right? But then you can like just ruin them. And I don't want to ruin them. You got to start them on something where so that they're humble. You know, start them at 1080p or even start them at like something that's not. This is a 240 hertz IPS 1440p panel. It's going to turn them into snobs right off the bat. And I don't want to do that. You know, I started off with with garbage monitors and then i really appreciate my monitor now i don't know if there's any psy psychology going on here but i know that the things whenever i started off like top of the line i just tend to appreciate that sort of stuff less than when i started off with something and then like upgraded to something amazing i don't know maybe i'm being weird here but i feel like this is too much monitor but i also got this in recently from from Corey. And I love it. It's so freaking ridiculous. I'm going to give him one of my other monitors. I'm going to give him a 1080p and keep this one because I'm a bastard. Or maybe I'll give him a 1440p monitor that I have here on the desk that's 27 inches and 165 hertz. But I don't know. Should I? What do you think in the comments? I want some more of your input here in a second as well. All right, the last thing that you see in there, that is a 3060 Ti. That's the Eagle from Gigabyte. And it's also really quiet, but it's compact and a 3060 Ti at 1440p or also 1080p will play pretty much anything. Um, not Maybe not maxed out, but most of the games maxed out. Everything I'm giving them, it's going to play maxed out. I'm mostly giving them like Elder Scrolls and stuff. And I want some input from everybody out there. So let's talk about this for a second. And now I'm just going to talk about a few things that I'm putting onto this computer for them. And I want some, some ideas from everybody out there in the audience. I'm curious to know what you would put on to this computer for them. Um, they're 13, maybe 14 and um, the household does not allow, uh, well, no nudity in the game content or media content. And uh, cursing is probably not something they're into. So I can't put like Baldur's Gate or whatever on there, but I could put maybe Skyrim and 
I guess violence is okay. You know, like you're in a Christian household, chopping people's heads off is fine. It's man, that's great, but you know, nudity, stuff like that, we got to leave off the list. You know, they're also too young for that stuff. And I play a lot of stuff that has, you know, I play like cyberpunk and all those games. They're even a lot of the indie games I play are gritty. So you know, I'm gonna put some games on there for them, but I don't know what I should put on there. I think they would like RPGs because they really like Lord of the Rings. But what do I put on there that's not filled with uh, blood and boobs and, and super mature content matter? You know, I got Zelda. They love Zelda. Uh, they were playing that when I saw them. They were on this broken laptop. They were trying to play um, some of the Zelda games, Ocarina of Time, with Project 64. So I'll put something like that on there. But, you know, what else could I put on there? Like, I'm going to throw Retro Arch on there. Uh, I'm going to throw this on there. So I'm going to give them the new copies of Zelda. Maybe they'll like that. But what else? Like, what? It's a good CRPG that's not made for, like, adults. Do you know of any? Because I'm having a hard time thinking of too many of them. Other than just the Elder Scrolls series. Morrowind would be fun. I think Oblivion would be fun. Um, but I don't know. What do you think? Like, is there, are there any games that are like Infinity Engine games that would work? Are they all a bit too gritty and all that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious. Also, um, as far as like video editing and stuff, I'm going to start them off right. I'm jealous because they're going to get a better start than, than me. I started with Adobe Premiere and it ruined me because I'm so used to the content workflow in Adobe Premiere. But I feel like this is the way to go nowadays because it's free, number one, and because it's so powerful and also because it's always saving. So if your program crashes, you just open it back up and keep editing as if it never crashed. You don't lose, like I, I've lost hours of stuff before because I forgot to hit control S. I don't do that anymore, but when I first got started, that was like, I mean, I was like, that was the angriest I'd ever been, was at Adobe. So I'm, if I can steer them away from Adobe, I feel like they'll have a huge leg up. And I think this is the way to go, so I'll put this on there. Um, other utilities, I'm gonna, they got Windows 11, so I'll give them open shell and Explorer Patcher to make it useful and get rid of the stupid context menu. But yeah, what other games and stuff? I'll put all these emulators on there. Um, just let me know what you think I should put on there. And other utilities you think that might be good for them if they're creative. I'll also put the A-Sprite on there. That's another thing, because I think that would be good for them. But who knows? I'm sure they'll figure out stuff on their own. They're smart, and they're probably smarter than I am, or smarter than I was at that age when it comes to just like being able to go and find stuff. Um, I do have to run, uh, I guess I do have to run a DNS on their machine so that they can't access bad material. That was a stipulation from the mom, my sister. <laughs> She's like, put a thing on there, whatever you do, your magic that makes it so they can't see bad things. And I'll, I'll be, yeah, I'll go on there and give them a DNS server that's like a good one, you know. Uh, then I'll try to figure out some way and I, they'll figure out how to change it. I don't know. When they're old enough, they'll figure out how to change it, right? Because they got to be ruined eventually. God, I'm glad they don't watch these videos. Anyway, let me know what you think about this build. I'm hoping that it uh, opens up brand new horizons for them. And it's kind of weird because I don't really communicate with family all that much. But it was nice to go back and see them after several years. And they didn't tell me I was going to hell and yell at me. So I was like, oh, okay, you're being nice. So maybe they've loosened up a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this video. Um, be sure to check out the sale, obviously, that we're having. And uh, that's over at epicpants.com. 50% off on pretty much everything. So see you there. And please give me those comments. See you later.